Government of India Act 1935. This act was brought to establish responsible government in India. It was a long and elaborate act, consisting of 321 sections and 10 schedules. The following were the provisions of this act. Under this act, there was a provision to form an All India Federation, in which the British controlled provinces and princely states were considered as one unit. However, this union never came into existence due to the reluctance of the princely states. This act clearly divided the powers between the center and the states, for which all the subjects were divided into three lists, union list containing 59 subjects, state list containing 54 subjects and concurrent list containing 36 subjects. Residuary powers were given to the Viceroy. Through this act, the dual rule was abolished in the provinces and provincial autonomy was introduced. Simultaneously, responsible government was established in the states. The governor was made to act on the advice of the ministers responsible to the legislative assemblies. This system started in 1937 and ended with the resignation of Congress governments in 1939. The dual rule was removed from the provinces and implemented at the center. For this reason, the central subjects were divided into reserved and transferred subjects. But this system was never implemented. There were two houses in the central legislature, Rajya Sabha and Lok Sabha. Rajya Sabha was a permanent house in which one-third of the members were to be elected after every three years. The number of members in the Rajya Sabha was 260, in which 156 were elected representatives of the provinces and 104 were nominated representatives of the princely states. The term of Lok Sabha was 5 years and the number of members was 375, out of which 250 members were to be elected from the provincial legislative councils and 125 members were to be nominated from the princely states. The viceroy could issue ordinances and could exercise prohibition or veto. Also, if needed, a joint session of both the houses could be called. The voting could still not be exercised over a large part of the union budget. A bicameral system was introduced in 6 out of 11 states, which led to the formation of legislative councils and legislative assembly in Bengal, Bombay, Madras, Bihar, United Provinces and Assam. By this act communal electorate was extended to the downtrodden castes, women and working class. The franchise was expanded to 10% of the population. It abolished the India Council or India Council formed by the Government of India Act of 1858 to assist the Secretary of India and an advisory board was given to assist the Secretary of India. Through this act, Reserve Bank of India was established to control the currency and credit in the country. The first governor of the Reserve Bank of India was Sir Osborne Arkell Smith and the first Indian governor was Sir C. D. Deshmukh. Under this act, along with the Federal Public Service Commission, provincial service commissions were established in the provinces and joint service commissions for two and more states. Under this act, a federal court was established in 1937. The administration of Burma and Aden was separated from the administration of India. Two new provinces of Arisa and Sindh were created and the northwest frontier province was placed under the governor. Thank you.